Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Avery Donahue with a special segment of Know Your Cultists. I am here with Abdul Abazar. Good evening, Abdul. Cthulhu Fatali. He is the cult leader of the cult of Cthulhu. No, we, we, we expand a little bit. That's not quite true anymore. I now have Dagon and Narsalayatep as well. We were in a growing industry. <laughs> so, Mr. Azir, what first drove you to Cthulhu? Well, it's difficult to say at this point. I mostly just remember the blackness and the cracking of sanity and the roof talking to us. But um, uh, I, I'd say initially it was uh, the literature. It's very well written. It's very well put together. And once you start reading, you really just find you can't stop. Physically, you can't stop. The eyes start bleeding and they, they don't shut anymore. Uh, <laughs> so how many cultists worldwide? Oh, like I said, growing industry, growing industry. I'd have to divide it up cult by cult. Um, I would say that that number has moved beyond the normal understanding because as sanity cracks, it does things to infinity and one. They become one and the same, and it is a, it, it is a different, uh, a couple thousand. <laughs> so please explain more in depth of how Cthulhu intends to run the world. That's, um... You say run the world as if there's some type of order to things, as if society and another. You see, you, you still you still have mental blocks that prevent you from seeing the bigger picture. Is this that ruling and running and all of that? I mean, no. The answer to your multiple choice question is no. So, explain more in detail. How do the sacrifices work? What do you do? Well. Me personally, because there are so many different methods you can run through. I'm a big fan of fallen societies and their rituals. I personally love the Mayan uh, method, mostly just because you get to cut out the heart. And then sometimes you eat the heart. And it's very, very good if prepared with chives and garlic. So, um, I hear you have deep ones, hybrids. Do some of the people willingly allow themselves to be impregnated? Well, that's an interesting thing. And the trick is you never bring it up on a first date. You always try for like second or third date. Otherwise, they just think you're really odd and creepy. But yes, there are actually hybrids, people whose genetic material matches the great elder ones, seem to some level where they won't be eaten first, maybe, you know, second or third. It's difficult to say. And once again, the difference between ruling and just chaos and no and things like that. But uh, yes, they do exist. Uh, actually, you know, some of them are very nice. Uh, one of them I have a chess game with later today. He doesn't so much play chess as he does eat the pieces, but yeah, tomato, tomato. All right, thank you, Mr. Azir, for your time. I see that it's time for your meds. Meds are illusion. Yes. <laughs> um, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Good night. And... Do the photography, you have the gun. <laughs>